Kinetic sand is a weird combination of fine grit colored sand and a rubberized polymer. We wanted to see what happens if you heat it up in a variety of ways. Can you burn it? Can you melt it? What happens if you put it in a microwave? We've done some fun experiments with kinetic sand in the past, including casting metal into it in a few different ways. And now we want to see what happens if we apply heat really directly. We've got five different methods that we're gonna to use to apply heat to our kinetic sand and see what it does. Here's the basic idea. We've got some colors of kinetic sand and we're gonna try applying heat to them in a few different ways. We're gonna try our backyard foundry. We'll try our arc furnace. We'll see what happens if you boil kinetic sand microwave kinetic sand, and hit it with a blowtorch. First off, let's take some sand, put it in a crucible, and get it going in our backyard foundry. Will the sand burn? Will the sand actually melt? Can we turn this into glass? Let's find out. Sand in our crucible is, uh, I think it's actually on fire now. Fair bit of flame coming up out of the crucible at this point. It's, it's kind of fun because it's got like swirling smoke. Well, then like the fire gets in it too. And we've almost got a little bit of fire tornado coming up out of here. Okay, we've got a couple of multicolored sea creatures here just sitting on a piece of fire brick. We're gonna see what happens if we go for a really direct approach with our heat. We're gonna just hit them with a blowtorch and see what happens to them. We've got a blowtorch and our little sand creatures. Wow! As soon as the heat gets on that, it's like the pink changes to purple. And it actually goes away a little bit when it cools down. Once we've got gray, I don't think there's any coming back from that. I, I think it's pretty much ruined at that point. Burned all the color and the polymer out of it. Let's keep this going. Oh, that arm's gone. That arm is gone. Starfish are supposed to be able to regrow arms, but this might be too much for it. So here's the sand that got the most heat on it, and it's just completely a powder. Over here's some sand that it burned, but it's also still cohesive. It's staying together a little bit. And then in the very middle, there's some parts that still have their color. So the color goes first, and then the ability to hold together, and then it's just powder. Woo. All right, so we've got a glowing orange crucible full of what appears to just be really hot sand at the moment. Don't think we got much more result from that, although, a little bit on the side. Looks like maybe it vitrified. We've melted glass in this same crucible before, so it's hard to know what exactly it is we're looking at. Let's see if we can pour some of this out. That looks cool. Glowing orange glass powder. glass with embedded sand right here. It's a very fine grain sand too, much more so than playground sand or something like that. <laughs> it works just great. This is cool. So I'm just dripping water onto our sand and our sand is extremely hot. So as the water gets poured in, it seeps down past the sand but then it keeps getting heated up 
and boiling away. So it's just bubbling underneath the super hot sand. Overall though, I would say there is like none of the polymer left. This is just sand at this point. I'm gonna take our little castle mold and fill it with some of our blue and green sand. And then we're gonna try putting it in a microwave and see if that does anything to it. Do it for a little longer. The pleat that this is sitting on is now hot enough that it's uncomfortable to touch, but the sand itself. I'm not tasty, I'm just feeling it on something more sensitive. It's warm, not hot, really doesn't seem to heat up much, like it's definitely much warmer on the bottom. I think most of the heat that it's experiencing is coming up through the plate at the bottom and into the sand, but the microwave doesn't seem to affect the sand very much at all. Let's go for broke, just gonna put it in for three, four more minutes. Once again, the bottom is fairly warm, but that is mostly from the plate, which is very hot. And the top of the sand is just kind of normal. I've got a small pot of boiling water, and now let's see what happens if we boil a little sand castle. Here goes. don't see a lot going on with our sand that's in our boiling water either. It may have begun to puddle just a little bit, lose a tiny bit of definition, but you can see that a lot of the definition is actually still there. All the little tiny stair steps, the little crenellations on the top of the towers, they're still quite visible. It even appears that on the inside, the water hasn't made it through, so this stuff I think it's kind of waterproof. Outside is getting boiled, but inside's not really changing much. Let's let it run for a few more minutes. We have started to see a result. During enough time in the water, I did add some more water. This had boiled quite low. Pour off the water and see how this stuff is. That water is slightly tinted green. Hmm, a little hard to tell, but it doesn't feel like it's acting the same. acting a lot more like wet sand and a lot less like kinetic sand. I may have ruined it. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's our kinetic sand, unheated. And our boiled kinetic sand. Not even the same color anymore. Close, this is yellower. So we definitely had to boil it for a little while before we had an effect. At first, it didn't seem to change much, but after about 10 minutes, it seems to have completely ruined the effect. We've tried some things that heated up our sand a fair amount, but now we're gonna try one that heats it up a lot more. We're gonna use our arc furnace and see what happens. Castle being made of not just built-on sand, but literally being made of sand has collapsed a little bit into our arc furnace, but that's okay.
That right there is melted sand. So it, uh, it very quickly ruins the effect of the kinetic sand. You can see like, look at this, digging down into it, it still burns, still burns. So that got hot enough to ruin our kinetic sand quickly. And then in our one little spot where we had all of our heat concentrated, we got it to melt and turned it into a crude form of glass. Guys, that's it for today, but the fun doesn't end here. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you directly to our last video, and you should go check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you hit this bomb in the middle, you'll be subscribed to our channel, and that way you'll never miss a video. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.